Okay guys, we are in the room. It's good to see you guys in here. But let's see what this is like. Actually, let's actually start by the door. Um, it looks like here is a bit of a closet. Um, I don't know, but uh, there actually is not a light by the doorway. So uh, it could be a little dark, um, especially at night um, though. The bathroom is right here, though I can't show you that yet. My cousin is uh, using it right now, but um, what you have to understand is uh, normally we just leave the bathroom light on and shut the door slightly at night. That way, if you need to use anything, um, it, that's a, a good way to have a little bit of a night light to find your way um, instead of shutting off all the lights. Um, but, you know, with the bathroom door open, um, obviously there's going to be a light here and uh, it shouldn't be so bad. Um, here you get your standard safe and big, big closet actually. Okay, so here's the other side of the closet. And it looks like you actually get an ironing board and an iron, which actually is not that common. Yeah, you probably have noticed that already. But uh, you also get your bathrobes. These are, so these are not as soft as some of the other ones. Um, these are a kind of a towel material essentially. Um, they're not soft, but, uh, you know, the fact that they exist is actually nice. I, um, I just wish they would be a little bit softer, like a little furrier, you know what I mean? Um, you hear, you get your standard, is this a chair or a table? I'm not sure. It looks more like a table, but you get your, your rack for, uh, ironing and if you, uh, did laundry here or anything like that. Um, you get your TV, um, a little small, actually. This is more like a 30, actually, is that even a 32? I'm not sure, but um, it's it's a bit of a small TV. Um, here, you get a lot of storage, actually, underneath the TV, and you get your fridge. Now, the fridge here, um, actually, it, it comes with uh, two free waters that I already put in there. But as you can tell, um, there's nothing else in there because instead of uh, forcing you to not know if you're gonna be charged for something or not, or you know, make it hard to find the price for everything, um, there's a 24 hour store downstairs and that is actually what you, uh, what, where you get your stuff for the, for the bar. So um, you actually have to go down there to buy it and bring it up. So they don't actually keep that in the room here, which is going to be a little bit different from what you're used to. Um, continuing on, they actually have an assortment of uh, coffees and teas and sugars that used to be here until uh, family members took it. Again, Asian family, that's what happens. Get used to it. But let's turn this. How do you turn this light on? It's. There's no. Wait. I know I'm an idiot with most of these things, but but I don't see a switch at all. Um, oh, okay. Ah, you touched the top. See, the problem with this is none of this stuff has uh, instructions. But okay, you touch it for different uh, brightnesses. Is it three settings? Yep, three settings. One, two, three. Nice little painting here. Um, over here, as we continue on, is actually the balcony. Now, here's the issue with the balcony right now. Great view, isn't it? Believe me, it's a lot better during the daytime, but just want you guys to know that, you know, it exists. But um, this, pretty much everything you see here is the property. Well, everything you may not see here. Um, the property is quite large and I'm going to be showing you guys that hopefully in the early morning tomorrow because um, the schedule was a little tight, but pretty much every single room, um, every single room, um, essentially I can't find a single room without a balcony. So, um, you're always going to have that, uh, that amenity there. And it is really nice because over here, um, the weather is fantastic. Well, when it's not raining, it, it rains quite a lot. But the thing is, it's nice and cool sometimes, especially with a nice breeze. It feels fantastic. 
But since you guys have nothing to see here, let's close the door and continue on. Now with this lamp here, um, it's foot powered. So it's not remote controlled or anything like that. You just step on the foot right there and uh, it turns on and off. You get a seating area and table. And you, for this room at least, you get um, two twin beds. Um, obviously a little messed up. We, we used it a little bit earlier, but the bed is comfortable. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it the most comfortable bed in the world. Um, but it, you know, it gets the job done. The nice thing here is that you get plugs next to the bed. So again, um, I think the only plugs I see are over here by the table and two plugs over here by the bed. So again, four plugs, um, may or may not be enough for your needs. Definitely bring adapters and uh, splitters. But here is a little knob that I have no idea what happens. So, uh, I think this might be volume for speakers or something. There's a bit of a music note there. So I have no idea what happens to be honest. Um, this controls the main room lights. Yeah. And with these lights, um, they were off when I came in and you have no idea how long it took me to, uh, find out how they worked because I looked throughout the entire room for switches and everything else. And I looked on the lamp everywhere and there was just nothing like absolutely nothing. And I looked throughout the entire room, every single switch did something else. Nothing controlled that. And then after maybe half an hour of looking around the room and then going out to eat and then coming back, I finally felt around and uh, like it, it's not even here, like not even on the bottom here, nothing. But then apparently if you go behind that here, I don't know if I can, uh, not even sure you guys can see it, but there's a little switch that turns it off and nothing else controls it but that. So you have to actually go behind here and there's a switch, which none of it was labeled, none of it was explained. Um, a little annoying to be quite honest. Um, it's not bad once you know where it is, but the fact that you know you may be new to the room, um, trying things out and yeah, it could take you an hour or more to figure stuff like that out because normally the switch is either here, here, controlled by the wall or on a remote control or something. Um, yeah, that is a really, really bad design. At the very least, they should have uh, marked where the switches are or have something in the room explaining it. Uh, not, not ideal. Now, one of the things that you have to notice or know when uh, booking a room here, again, I don't know how the other rooms are, but the shower and the bathtub and the toilet are in there. And as you can tell, that is a glass wall. So uh, if you're into that, um, that is a curtain that comes up. Um, and I'll show you that once, uh, once my cousin finishes using the, uh, the shower. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit when, uh, when she's done. I'll show you that because it's actually quite nice in there. Okay, the bathroom is finally free. <laughs> I can show you guys that now. Oh, a little messy. <laughs> but uh, it's actually a really, really nice bathroom. Um, you get your very large tub actually, um, contoured um, for you to sit quite easily. And it does come with a shower handle as well. Um, the hot water here is very, very hot. And it's very, very quick. Um, it goes from cold to hot very quickly. So. Uh, Turning the, the handle, like like these uh, single handle style faucets, um, turning them like a quarter of an inch will go from cold to hot very quickly. So uh, be careful with that. Um, also comes with a blow dryer, which is really nice for uh, anyone with longer hair or don't have the time to have it dry. Um, you do get all the normal amenity kits. Um, you do get your normal face towel and you get individual uh, hand towels, which is uh, quite nice actually. Um, the kit, fairly normal. I don't see anything different from it. You get your, your soap, 
your uh, um, Q-tips, your your toothbrushes, um, your razor kits. Um, with this razor kit, it's actually uh, a dual blade, which is not too bad, quite honestly. Um, you get your bit of shaving cream, but uh, over here is the shower. And just like most, um, you get your rain shower head and your handheld shower head, which is quite nice. It does come with, you know, your standard uh, shampoo, your conditioner, and your shower gel. Oh, and the one over here is actually the body lotion that um, is left right here. Um, the, the shower head is really, really nice. The um, shower head is not as large as some of the others, but um, one of the great things here is um, the water pressure is actually incredibly high. I'm turning it all the way up. Let me, let me show you that real quick. No, oh, don't get wet. Nope. But, yeah, the, the water pressure is quite high there. It's not just like a raindrop kind of thing. A little wet. But uh, actually, but with this toilet here, um, it's actually a little bit different from uh, your normal toilet because it has a butt washer. This is one of the first butt washer toilets uh, I've ever used. And quite honestly, not that bad. Um, a little weird to start out with. Um, you use it by uh, pulling down this handle right here. Um, and it, uh, it comes out and washes your butt. Which, again, a little weird, but I think it works quite well. Um, at least for here, the water pressure is not that high, so you know, it's a gentle wash, it's not like a, it's not like something you wouldn't want. But overall, um, the quality for the room is fantastic. Um, I think for me, booking early, um, it was $70 a night, 70 zero. And I think that's fantastic quality because sometimes you don't even get that kind of price on a motel in the United States. So the fact that you're getting like a really, really, uh, you know, high-end hotel, and trust me, this is a very high-end hotel when you consider everything else. Um, I think I'm going to upload the uh, exterior of the hotel video f um, at the beginning of this, so you guys have already seen that. I'm actually filming this first, so yeah, it, it's a little weird because of my, my timing here, but um, yeah, with all the amenities, the uh, like with the golf course and the the pools... The both the outdoor and the indoor heated pool, um, though the heated pool didn't have any water at this time, um, which is kind of a shame. Um, you know, they have a spa, they have a restaurant, they have pretty much everything you need here. And it's a very, very large property. You can go around walking, um, doing whatever you want. Um, I think for, especially for 70 bucks a night, like I don't see how it's even possible to beat that. Um, like, it's very much so for someone who wants a resort style location. Um, for me, I actually do kind of like the uh, the Bidan Village a little bit more. It's a little bit more personal. There, are, you know, far far fewer rooms. Um, yeah, I think it was uh, the experience was better versus here where you know everything is pretty much perfect but a little generic. Just just my opinion there, but. For half the price of that, um, you can't knock it. Like, you could, on a very, very tight budget, spend a week or two here at this five-star hotel. No problems at all. Like, yeah, like, definitely recommended. Um, I still have to do breakfast tomorrow morning to show you guys what that's like. But, uh, you know, at this point, you know, I see no major issues with it. Um, the AC... I think is a little weak. I don't think that it's uh, quite what it says it is at 16 degrees with the fan on uh, HH, high high, instead of a, everything seems to be set, but they said that that's normal and that the light's supposed to be red and not green because if I turn it off, the light just turns off. So I'm fairly certain they said that the red light means that it's on. I don't know why, but um, but it's not cold in here. Um, normally when you set things down to 16 degrees, it gets fairly cold. Um, not really, actually. The outdoors is only a little bit cooler. And 
Yeah, I just wish that it was like that. You, you kind of expect a, a little bit more from this, but um, it's hard to hear it even flowing at all. But, yep, hiding from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she uh, she doesn't like being on camera, so... Oh yeah, actually, what I need to show is... Uh, um, yeah, how this actually opens up. Oh, wrong one. Nope, it's stuck! Okay, that way. I'm not the smoothest person doing this with one hand. It's a little foggy because it was used twice, but as you can tell, the bathroom uh, can be seen through to everything else. So if that's a, a beneficial thing for you, then uh, go right ahead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, um... I wouldn't call this place too unique other than the theme, the the European Swiss theme of it. Um, the amenities are fantastic. Like, there's really no way you can beat the amenities here. Like, having anything in the city, you're not going to have like, this kind of property. You're not going to have this huge outdoor pool. You're going to ha not have the gigantic, gigantic golf course. And the view with the mountainside, like, how, how do you beat that? It, it's just, well, right now it's... Uh, Pure black out there, but you know, during the daytime, like, how do you beat that view at all? Like, you can't. You absolutely can't. It is a bit of a drive out. It is a bit far from the city, but man, out here, it is so worth it. Especially, um, you know, for for me being here during off peak season, um, there aren't a whole lot of people here, which makes everything uh, nice and peaceful. But yeah, for. For anything that is like, you know, for American dollars, like anything less than $400 for this place is a fantastic deal coming over here for $70 to $100, assuming you book early enough to get that kind of price. Um, that really can't be beat. Like, that is a steal, and I don't know how it works. Like, obviously, they need to fill up all the rooms because it is a very, very large resort. Um, like the other place, um, the Binan uh, Village, like they have to charge a lot more because there are far, far, far fewer rooms, um, and they also have a fairly large property as well. So, yeah, um, I think for five star hotel, if you want the generic amenities, um, then this place beats all out all others bar none. Like, there's no way to beat it. All the hotels in the city, like the rooms are nowhere near as large as this, um, and Everything outside is pretty normal. Everything outside is just traffic and buses and taxis and yeah, like they're very similar to each other. The five, six, seven, ten hotels right next to each other, all five stars. You go into any one of them and you'll get pretty much the same experience. Here, the moment you leave the hotel, the moment you walk outside, um, it is a completely different experience from everything else and the fact that you're paying essentially less than half the price of anything inside the city you get acres and acres of land and uh, beautiful um, trees and everything to walk around and i think that's that's worth way more than anything else inside the room because the room is normal it's a place to sleep it's nice it's clean but so are a lot of other places and i think that the, the outdoors and the um just just the nature and the mountains like you, you can't beat that and you can't buy that. Well, you can rent it, but you can't buy it. Then that's not. But, uh, but yeah, absolutely. Definitely recommend the uh, Swiss Belfort um, Resort here. And I'll see you guys next time. Or at least uh, up until we come up, wake up and get breakfast. <laughs>